All right, okay, welcome back to another preview, guys. Uh, I'm Foxy, with me ever present, Rob. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate, how are you? Yes, yeah, good. Uh, um, yeah, looking forward to getting back to the sort of meat and potatoes of a bit of league football because international break is a total waste of time, in my opinion. Even though we did beat Spain, what was it, 15 2? Or something like that. Doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Save your best performances for when they count. Moving swiftly on. So we're going to do a preview, uh, Chef Wed. We won't really talk about the Nottingham Forest game. It's been and gone. There's nothing that I can say or anyone hasn't seen to make that even worse than what it was. Or, or make that a positive. There is no such thing in that, in, in that, in that respect. So, um, as you can see, another beautiful setting. Again, Rob's got a hell of a rockery. I think you'll all agree. Great pond, great feature, that. And if he ever does come to sell his house, by the way, anyone with a boat... Anyone who's won bullseye, who needs a place to put the boat. There you go. So, look, less of the nonsense, Foxy. Hey, that's not what we're here for. Sorry. So, Chef Wed. Where do we start with Chef Wed? So, they've got a right good home record. They haven't been beaten at home all season. Uh, last defeat, I think, was against Nottingham Forest, Rob, I do believe. As I said, we aren't going to talk about Forest. The forest is getting the noses involved and going to good places and beating teams and nobody can turn them over. Can they win the league? I hope not. Um, so, yeah, last defeat was Forest away. Last sort of month or so, really, not including the international break. So kind of a month before the international break, they played Leeds at home, they played West Brom at home, uh, they played Aston Villa away. Positive results against West Brom and Aston Villa and Leeds, you can say. Uh, Leeds were lucky, really. I think Leeds scored in the last couple of minutes, didn't they? I, I, I think it was, but I think it was an Adam Reach spectacular goal again in that game. Last game for the Sheffield, they've just beat Bristol City away. Now, this is a team that started the season really poorly. I think they only got one point out of the first three games. Um, didn't look like a well-oiled unit at all, but he's kind of galvanised them together. The routine that make a lot of changes, funnily enough, there's a spine to the team. Dawson, Lees, centre-back, uh, who looks like a really good player. Um, Brennan, maybe centre midfield, is, is, is an ever-present. And maybe somebody along the lines of Nihu, Nihu who's been playing a bit, um, Fletcher, or, or Adam Reach. They're kind of like your mainstays. But around that, is, there's been a lot of changes. Now, formations, they change a lot. They've played 4-2-3-1 in recent weeks. They've played 4-3-3 uh, against Bristol City in the, in the last game, as I say. Um, you know, 5-3-2, which I suppose really when we think about it they all end up amalgamating into the same formation anyway no matter how your 3-4-3 can end up as a 5-4-1 and that's pretty much where I'm going to base my preview from so they are a team that really have like I said got a good home record and they're a team that I don't really want to play after an international break we also what happened after the last international break although Kind of looking at we have we, we didn't we didn't get a bit we didn't get defeated before the international break. Then play Norwich. This time we have been defeated. International break. Now we play Chef Wed. So swings and roundabouts. From what we what, what what I've read about Pulis, we, he's had them he's had some serious fitness training going on. Um, not too sure what our starting eleven is going to be. As he's mentioned a couple of weeks ago, he's already come out and said TP about. He's got a lot of international players playing away international duty. I don't think that matters. I don't think we need to put that negative out there. Um, I think we've got enough players in our squad now to, to have a decent start in 11, at least a very, very competitive 11, at least an 11 that can go there and get a result. But, Chef Wed for me, players to look out for, as I've mentioned there, Reach, Fletcher, Forestieri, uh, Nihu, as I say, who scored a few goals this season. Um, and then, and then it really depends then. They've got Onomaru, who may play centre midfield, who can get forward. Um, they may start with Thornley on one side, Palmer on the other. And then that kind of brings me back to formation. I think they'll start 3-4-3. I think that 3-4-3, as I said, will, could develop, could um, manifest itself into a 5-4-1, which will shut us out. I don't know whether they've got what I've just said in mind, whether they're having a lot of players on international duty and whether they think we may start with a wing, um, start with um, Shotton, start with Ayala, Flint, Fry. But get back to our 5 3 2 formation so we do have a little bit of width. I've mentioned Tav in previous weeks. I, I'm not going to pipe on about Tav again, but you know, this guy, if he can't get in the team this week, what, what are we going to do? Loan him out again. Um, Artie Pearl need a, need a good winger so I'd like to see Tav start I think it's the perfect game from the start because what they're going to do is they're going to try and shut us down playing 3-4-3 three, three, they're going to high press they're going to play an offside trap they like to keep the ball in their own half they like to keep hold of the ball full stop the possession based football to a point but also they'll play a direct ball they like to play through the middle and use uh, Nihu they'll use Forestieri they'll use Fletcher 
Against West Brom and Leeds, they played with, I think I'm right in saying, you know, don't, I'm not, I, don't write in the Chef, Chef Wed fans if there's any watching, but I think I'm right in saying that they would start with Forrest Airy, Fletcher and Reach, which is quite a fluid sort of forward line, which then backs into a 5-4-1 because Forrest Airy can drop deep, Forrest Airy can play on that side, he can get back, he can tackle, he, he can get up and down, and obviously we know Reach can. Um, Starting with Brennan, as I said, centre mid, and maybe Onomar. There's a very good chance Pelopusi can start as well, who's another holding midfielder, but he's also a guy that likes to get up and down. Very rigid, very, very kind of um, disciplined they are at the moment when they drop back into that 5 4 1. So that might be a way of nullifying whatever sort of attacking um, threat we've got and then making counters on the counter-attack. They, like they like a bit of counter-attack in football, and as I said, they like to play possession football, but they're very fast with how they move from A to B. Um, obviously, like I said, with Fletcher and Forrest, the area and, and, and um, Reach, they're all technical players. They can hold, hold, hold on to the ball. They can all bring other players into it. I think realistically, um, taking my Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough fan hat off, I think this is a really tough place to go in the current climate, especially with us playing dire at the moment. I, I know this is a common topic for people at the moment, but our performances have been disgraceful. I mean, people say performances don't matter. And, you know, I'm not here just to jump on people and be negative, but performances are key. This is so important. It breeds confidence. Confidence breeds goals. We need relationships. We had that in August, but we've kind of messed about with it a little bit now. And no matter what anyone wants to say about goals not being conceded in this league, there's a lot of teams up and about round us who've got similar goal differences because they've scored more goals. And that's what it'll come down to, people. It won't come down to we've conceded three and they've conceded ten. It comes down to goal difference if that's if that's if that's the nitty-gritty that we get down to. So we need to score more goals and we need to put players in that team that will create chances to score goals, i.e. wing, i.e. Tav. Now they will be hard to break down and they will be basing their team selection, as I've said, on us probably starting 5-3-2. So what do we do? How do we get around that? I don't know because, like I said, I don't know what to cling on to at the moment. I'd like to see TP revert back to what we had in August, maybe leave Savile out, bring Clayton back in. Um, like I say, either play Stewie Downing in, in a position that he's going to create or he's going to defend. For me, I'd start him left wing back if you're not going to play Bezic there. Um, I don't want to see Friend play there, although he's good at getting forward. I think Friend, for me, now is a squad player that is useful on a, on a number of different positions. He could come on as centre-back, he could come on as left-back, he could come on as left wing-back, really, if we needed him to. So I'd like to see us positive, looking at being more positive from them positions so that we can break a team like Chef Wed down, who are going to want to play through the middle but they're going to stop us playing in the flanks. So we need something else. Um, Scoreline for me, again, it's so hard to predict. So, like I say, taking our Middlesbrough fan hat off. We have been solid, but then we haven't. We need to open up more because we aren't scoring enough. We need to create more, so that's probably going to take away from our back line. We are great as a defensive unit to a point. Um, but as an individual, have we got anything enough in there, like I say, to be able to break a team down? This game is going to go, for me, either one all or 2 nil Chef Wed. And I hope I'm completely wrong. I hope we go there and beat them 4 nil. but I, I can't see that happening. I'm not going to play the, the roll the dice game here. On current form, on current performances, we're getting beat there. Genuinely. And they're going to revel with playing us again. They're like a big boy coming into, coming into town. So, 2-0 or one all. If we get a draw, I'll be happy with that. Depending on what the performance is like, I'll be happy with a one all. But not a dodgy, scraping one all performance. We need a performance, guys. We need a performance. And we need a result to go with that performance. And then we need to stick with that team and move forward. So, 2-0 Chef went, one all Borough. That's me being really positive. Rob, any, any thoughts at all that isn't a negative one? Uh, one all. Well, that isn't that isn't negative. So, um, hopeful. Really hopeful. Fingers crossed. All of the, all, all our fingers crossed. But I mean, look, as ever, this is all about you guys. This has only been a quick preview. Um, obviously, with us having the international break. So, you know, please get in touch. It's all about you guys. Like, share, subscribe as you always do. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. If you have to use Facebook, but you know, get involved. It's about you guys. Get writing in. Get your points across. It's all about whatever you want to talk about. It doesn't necessarily have to be about the current game. Do you want to talk about any of the squad players that you want to see in that team? I know we're trying to hashtag Tav uh, start and get him started, so let's keep that rolling on. But, I mean, otherwise, let's be positive. We've only sold 1,200 tickets, guys. I know we're on Sky, but either way, we're always positive before the game, and let's get behind the lads. So, I'm Foxy. That's been Rob. This has been his back garden. Um, another preview. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out, whoever you are, wherever you are, guys. <laughs>